Hey guys, um, welcome to my kind of new revamped YouTube channel. I've just tried to um, change it up a little bit. There is a story behind it. Um, basically, um, I've got a new job um, and I've had it about a couple of months now, but I was applying for new jobs. And at the same time, I was you know, doing a little bit of gaming on YouTube, but I was doing it off a YouTube account that was attached to my email address, um, which I didn't really see as a problem at the time. Um, but it just so turns out that um, as I was applying for jobs, sending me CV off, my email was signing out as has a 90 gaming channel and a picture of Crash Bandicoot, um, which is an absolute miracle that I actually ended up getting a job, um, given the fact that that was uh, what was going out. But hey, I got lucky and I got a job. I was employed at the time anyway, I just fancy something a little bit different. But yeah, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is my first video, it's kind of, um, yeah, it's on the drive home really, um, and I'll be doing a live stream later, but I just thought I'd, you know, upload something, upload some content, so I have deleted all my prior content, because I've had to kind of merge a new YouTube channel with a new email address, it's been a bit of a mission, but I've done it, so, um, pleased with that. So I'll, I'll kind of tell you what the, the channel, well not the channel, but things that I'm going to be doing and um, we'll talk a little bit about um, current affairs in football I suppose and to be honest the channel is just going to be about anything. I don't really want it to be like a gaming channel. I don't really want it to be a um, you know like football related channel. I just want it to be something and you know I'm not I don't, I don't even want to beg for subscribers really, I'll be happy, I'm happy with 83, I'm happy that 83 people like my content, or they just like me, they're probably all my mates anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, the, the channel is going to be, um, it's going to be mostly gaming, I'm hoping to get Marcus on um, tonight hopefully, uh, he did some great things with um, on his channel recently doing uh, Call of Duty World War 2 which is what I'm going to stream later and a little bit of FIFA because um, I'm starting to get into this whole um, weekend league stuff on Foot Champions did my first ever one last weekend and I think I ended up 19 victories and I just canned it I think I got to 19 victories and about 15 defeats I thought that was going quite well lost like 10 in a row I'm just fucking yeah furious with it so but I will be doing a little bit of FIFA. I may try and, because I've got to qualify for the foot champions this week. So uh, we'll try and do that, which would be good. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get some, some good content. But I wanted to chat a little bit about um, England, to be honest, because it's the international break. I used to be like the biggest England fan ever. It was my dream to go to a World Cup, go to a Euros. It's just my dream to watch England play, actually. Um, and now I'm kind of working in and around London. I can watch England play whenever I want. I actually work in Tottenham, which is just around the corner from Wembley. So, um, you know, I could watch them whenever I want. Do not have any interest in watching England at the moment. And, um, you know, I, I'm not going to put the blame of that down to, you know, I'm not even going to blame Southgate. I don't think it's his fault at all. I thought he was doing a good job in the under 21s. Shouldn't have been given the, um, you know the, the the full team role, but he got given it, and that's down to to one organisation. That's the FA, and the FA are just absolute dinosaurs that are out of touch with football, to be honest. And um, I think that the, the England sort of setup are doing great things with grassroots football, and I think it's showing with the under 17s. But it dies when it gets to the under 21s, and it dies because of the Premier League so demanding that um, you know. My, my club manager Jose Mourinho is probably the biggest um, you know, trash on, on English players because he won't play the youth and there's a lot of managers like that and it's because of the doggy dog world of Premier League football but it's really good up to the sort of the under 18s age and it, it literally dies and it dies with the FA it dies with the manager and the fans have just lost the excitement you know and, and what winds me up is, is there's really obvious things that can happen but Everyone's just too scared to do it, or, or they won't do it. And for me, the under-17s went out and they, they won the World Cup. They were 2-0 down to Spain in the final. I think they ended up winning it like 4-5-2. or five, two. What an achievement. And as a country, as a nation, we haven't made a big enough thing of that. And if I was in charge of the FA, or I was Gareth Southgate tonight, I would... Two friendlies we've got coming up. Why don't we... 
go, I'll just play the under 17s in one of the friendlies, and that'll be wouldn't be because I think that they just you know they're good enough to be called up. It's because I think, do you know what, guys? You've won the World Cup for your country. I don't care that it's a you know it's the only level they could win it at. They won it at the top of what they could have done. So your reward is a first ten cap. You know, and that's your, everyone deserves that, and, I, and I'd give it to them. Every single player that was in that squad, I, I didn't rotate the team at half time, but just as a, a well done, and it'd be good to see some of the talent. And it's not just, you know, us United fans, we all cling on to Angel Gomez as a talent, and he is, but he was quite a peripheral figure in that squad. There were some immense players playing, and it was annoying that the striker, I think, played for Liverpool, um, and you know, still will. Um, but Regardless, take me United hat off. I'm just pleased that there's talent coming through because the England team needs something like Harry Winks. Apart from that, the England team to me is, is completely dead. So that's my thoughts on that. The international breaks a pain in the ass. I don't want it. I don't want to be anywhere near it. But you know what you're going to do about it. But that's that's international football. I'm hoping to go to United versus Brighton at the end of November, and I've got tickets to United Burnley in December so I'll be going to them games to be honest both of them should be six points in the bag but off the back of a shocking Chelsea defeat it's um, needs must at the minute and uh, yeah I don't really want to talk about that I just kind of want to erase that from my memory it's, we always have a shit result going into an international break or it will go into an international break on a great run of form and, and finish it and then come back and have a shit result. So whatever happens, international break kills us as a club. We can't use it as an excuse because um, you know every every team has it. Every team has an international break, and every team of players playing it. But it also seems to be that our players come back on crutches. You know, I don't really get why. Um, I think Martin, I think Martinez is a joke of a manager. Run something over. Yeah, Martinez is a joke of a manager, and. Um, Oh well, why is he playing Fellaini and Lukaku? But he will, he'll continue to do shit like that because he's an idiot. But oh well. But yeah, that's international football. So, I'll see you later. We'll do a Call of Duty stream. Hopefully it'll go well. Um, you can obviously catch me on the United stand as well. I'll be on the Sunday show. I'm on the match watch alongs, but there's obviously not going to be one for a while. And um, I'll see if I can get Matt Marcus to uh, come in a party with us because... Um, He's famous on YouTube now. He's got literally four times the amount of subscribers as me now. So he's winning the race to a thousand subs. He will win the race. And he's got brilliant content. So check out, um, I think it's Mad Marcus on YouTube. But if not, just find him on Twitter. And I'll catch everyone later. And thanks for, if you have watched it, thanks for watching this. But tune into the live streams because that'll be quite funny. Um, Call of Duty World War II, just quickly, is a fantastic game. Um, Tunnel. Uh, yeah, it's a fantastic game. Uh, it's probably the best Call of Duty I've ever played. I was a rare person that actually liked Infinite Warfare. Um, I know a few did, but quite a lot hated it. But Call of that World War II game for me is just so stripped back, so basic, but graphically is phenomenal. The gameplay is smooth. It's a little bit slower, which is great if you know if you're like me and you like to take things a bit slower and not die so much. Um, so we'll be yeah streaming that and um, hopefully I can get some kill streaks going. I had a good one last night that Marcus was watching on, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't streamed. It was just uh, share play. But oh yeah, try and stream it a bit more for you guys. I tell you what, leave a comment actually. It's a big clue to what car I'm driving. And if you know who I am, don't comment because you'll know what car I drive. But um, you know if you if you just have a guess. Um, and you should be out of the tell because there's something right there that um, is a big giveaway to what car I'm driving. So, um, yeah, leave a comment and let me know. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.